I'm going to install a rear quarter panel, pink protection film on a C8 Corvette 2021 mist red. I've just prepped the surface. I put some gel on it, which I tend to put on, uh, which is kind of sticky, but it really helps for these vertical panels so that when you are working one area, the rest of it doesn't stick. So I use it on most vertical panels. And I've got my hot solution with alcohol and my soap solution. So with that, I've already taken the paint protection film off of the liner. And it's time to place it on the Corvette. So this panel is not a wrap. This one here is going to be a edge panel, which I kind of prefer. A lot of people like to wrap them, but uh, I tend to find that over time, it's just a heck of a lot easier to get these things to lay down the way you want them when you don't do that. So I've got it set up where I want it. And once I do that, I'm gonna tack this part up here, but I generally don't use tack solution initially on a big panel like this. So I'm just going to place it where I need it and start to squeegee. Helps if you keep the surface really wet. That way your squeegee doesn't stick because if it sticks, you get what's called chicken scratch or chicken uh, skin and up towards the top is where I use that alcohol solution. So I just put a little bit of alcohol up there and the reason I'm doing that is to get it to lock down because I'm actually going to wrap this tiny little edge here but I'm not worried about it right now. So all I'm doing is getting this initial portion done and once I'm happy with that right to this edge Keep moving down. You can generally feel if there's any water left in here. I feel a little bit of water right here and you don't want that in there because it'll end up drying out and turn into a big white spot later. So now that I've got that done, I'm going to relift most of the panel and this is going to allow me to stretch it the way I need to. So it does require about a half inch of stretch or so. Um, in general, if you can get rid of these big pockets, that really helps later on not get any air pockets to where they end up causing issues. So I've got this stretch right where I need to. Again, I'm using slip solution on the top. And I am going to tack this side down. So really, I'm just doing this very top edge. And once I get that done, I'm going to use a little bit harder squeegee just to make sure I get all the liquid out. But again, you want to be careful that you don't let the squeegee chatter on top of the film. And the last thing I do generally with a top panel like this is I lift it up and I put a little alcohol right on the corner. And I do that so that this thing is no kidding locked down. So later on when I'm washing the car and I got a rag or something, this thing knows where it belongs. And that alcohol really tends to have a good memory. So here we are, got that first part. One of the last things you do before you move on is dry this off because when you dry it off, you're able to see any type of imperfections. And I am seeing something that I want to address. 
a little bit of water onto the film. So I'm gonna get that out now. In fact, I'm missing one of my squeegees. Uh, here it is. This is called a ghost glove. And it's really good for getting water out when panels are still wet, but they're not so wet that it easily removes the uh, water. So it doesn't shatter at all, but you can still put some pretty firm pressure. And I'm not really happy with it right here. So I'm gonna lift it up. A little bit on this one. And because I didn't use alcohol, I'm not gonna have a lift line, uh, but that will allow me to get all the water out of there. to this edge So this panel tends to go fairly quickly once you get the first part down the rest of it goes fairly quickly because the hardest part is getting the whole panel lined up so like i said earlier i'm going to try to get most of these big um, pockets out and if i do that it just helps when you squeegee that you're not worried about leaving air pockets or bubbles or anything funny in there so, got most of those out, and now the key is to get the edge done. So, when I do that, I want to use a special squeegee, and that is a soft squeegee that I'm able to come over this edge. So, the first thing I'm going to do is again just make sure this edge is 100% locked down, and I'm using a special squeegee for that. And then I'm pulling that edge. Before I do the whole panel, I want to make sure that the edge is completely void of any air or water. Again, because this edge is so important, I'm taking a lot of time to vacate it before I just in mass vacate the rest of the panel. That will really help out so that once we do start squeegeeing, the rest of it goes fairly quickly. Again, you wanna be careful not to chatter that, so I'm going very deliberate but hard. And now we can wet down the rest of this panel to this ridge, and I'm gonna continue squeegeeing. So, got the panel wet. And I see a little bit of a glue disturbance in there because it was a little bit dry. So I'm going to squirt a little more soap solution up there. Bad time to run out of water. Alright, here we 
here's my next bottle. Pour a little bit more in there. And this ought to get me through. There we go. So I made sure not to lift it past the edge there, and that will help me so that I don't have to redo that whole edge like we saw earlier. Again, just use my fingers to get rid of most of the air pockets. And now that everything's wet again, like we needed it to the first time, we can wet this down and squeegee it. And the last part, of course, is this little concave area. And this is usually where you can use a little bit of alcohol to get that to stick a little better. So what I try to do is try to get the areas around it and behind it all taken care of first. So I'm going right to this edge because you can always lift to an edge and not cause any permanent damage um, if you're doing it right away. And it helps to just kind of get right to this edge right there. And then I'll take care of that last part. There's something right there. Nope, just part of the glossy paint. But there is something there. So when you find a, a, a little speck of something, which I just found in there, you got to lift it up and get it out with your fingernail. wet again because the worst thing you can do is try to do that while it's dry because it will chatter and get some air in there. So here we go, getting towards that area where I can vacate it with some alcohol. You'll see that Right in through here, really getting that ridge hard because that ridge will eventually cause a lot of water to collect if you're not careful. So I've got this part vacated and now it's just this last part. I'm going to use a little bit of alcohol right in there. And using my finger, I'm going to hold that down. The heat of your finger actually really helps to get that to stick. In fact, I'm going to lift it up again because I see a little bit of, there we go, a little bit of air in there that didn't come out. And alcohol locks it so quickly that if you're not careful, it will leave some little tiny white bubbles, the little, almost like alcohol bubbles. And once again, we feel for the water. We feel for debris. There is a piece of something right here too, darn it. So, where is that? Right there. And no matter how good you prep, sometimes you just can't help it. So I'm gonna try to get that out with my fingernail again. Huh. 
That's on the pink. Tiny little pink bar. Well, I guess that's staying in there. Um, not very noticeable, but because I'm an installer, I notice everything. And you can see, as long as you're not popping it down with alcohol, I was able to lift that area a couple times. No issues. And each time, we just go right back to that same edge and lock it down. Here's where I'm going to dry off the whole panel. Make sure we're proud of our work before we move on. And I tend to look down the angle to see if I see any water bubbles, which I don't. It's a good panel. So we're going to finish this up down here. And again, I'll just vacate this. Like so. And we're ready. that's chattering that is not good you do not want that chatter I'm gonna take my soft squeegee again on this ridge and make sure every tiny last bit of water is vacated from there and then back to a normal squeegee Where I'm going to switch to a harder squeegee just to vacate one more time and then I'm going to get this last part and I'm actually going to use a little bit of alcohol to aid me because oh there's a big piece of black something that needs to come out again if you're going systematically like I'm doing here you're able to see this debris and take care of it before it causes issues There we go. And it's gone. So like I said, I'm going to this hard card. And really vacating this stuff. And we are almost done. And you see how there's a lot of tension right here. We're going to take care of that with a little bit of alcohol. We don't want too much because it actually starts to really take hold quickly. And it gives you a funny line if you're not careful in one, vacating everything. So I got it moved away from where most of the tension was. And then I'm going to go down and I'm just going to hold it right on the edge. So I've gotten it out and I'm holding it there. You don't want to hold the squeegee on the panel because if you do that, it'll actually leave a squeegee line right there wherever you have the alcohol. So that's one other reason why you got to be very careful when you've got alcohol. And the last part right here. Alcohol to lock that down, and we are done. 
The last thing to do is just the administrivia of tucking some of this stuff in and laying these down. So I'm not going to show you all the rest of that because it's another 10 or 15 minutes kind of just tinkering with the panel. But as you see, we dry it off one more time to make sure we're proud of our work before it's locked in. And we double check to make sure this is something that we're proud of, which it is.